What's up internet, Kern 1776, back at you with another Battle Box Breakdown. This month I got mission 45, it's November 2018, and man, this right here is one of my most favorite boxes ever. Simply because it's kinda my thing. This is Hunting 2.0, the second hunting box in 45 missions. And I'm gonna open it up for you and show you what's inside. Mission 45, Hunting 2.0. As always, I've got the mission card here with the basic advanced pro and pro plus levels. And on the back, a nice write up here by yours truly <laughs> of the contents of the box and what they can be used for, etc., etc. So, hunting is a really big thing in my life. I've been hunting ever since I was really little, and I've had the opportunity to hunt all over the United States when I was a, a videographer for hunting shows and things like that, and also was able to be on hunting shows myself. So I've got a lot of memories captured by film using cameras out in the woods hunting. So um, a lot of the products in this box I've actually have been using for quite some time and really enjoying, and uh, I'm sure you guys will too. So let's jump into it, shall we? First up in the basic box is a 24 inch collapsible blowgun, restricted in some areas. I know it's got the word gun on it. We should maybe restrict stupidity. I think that would be a good thing to do in America. Some places this is restricted. So we've got another item that I'll show for the people that can't get this in their state or whatnot. So this here is a blow gun. I've actually have taken quite a few squirrels with, with a, a blow gun similar to this uh, a few years back. So uh, they're a lot of fun, especially with your kids and stuff like that with a cardboard box in the house or whatever. It's a great thing to, to shoot, but it is effective for shooting and taking small game. So you've got some darts right here and the ends for these darts. There's several of those in there as well. So you just install those on the end that doesn't have the point and there's your dart right there. And here is your blow gun, it's collapsible. You just put it together like so, tighten it down so it don't come apart. Got a removable mouthpiece so when your buddy wants to shoot it, you can take it off and wipe it off. <laughs> and a little quiver right here for to store your darts in. And a sight right here. I'm gonna be honest with you, I never really use the sight on these. It's more of a um, using both your eyes. We all have a dominant eye, be it your left eye or your right eye. When you load your dart in, load it into the mouthpiece and you just push it forward till it gets in there real good. Seal your mouth up on it and uh, use both your eyes to look at your target while you're aiming straight down the barrel and have a go at it. See if you can get a shot of that tree right there, Richie, with the other camera. See if I can stick one in there. Let me get you on the frame too. Nah, just get the tree in there. Ready? Yep. Like that. <laughs> Tons of fun. So, like I said, especially um, with your kids or whatever, with simply a cardboard box in the hallway of your home and uh, just watch out for your cats and dogs when they come by. But this is an effective tool to take small game. I have taken squirrels with this um, several times. So, really, really cool product right here is the 24 inch collapsible blowgun. If you can't get the blowgun, I'm sorry. It's out of our hands. You need to talk to your legislators and stuff like that. If you didn't get the blowgun, you got this, which is really nice, which I've used in the past. It's a great uh, mat right here that has kind of a waterproof side and then a felt side. So you can use this for cleaning, you know, your pistols and your guns and stuff like that as a, as a mat to lay down to put your stuff on. But it's also very effective as something to carry with you when you go hunting and you're gonna sit on a wet ground or sit on a wet stump or sit on a wet seat in the deer stand or anything like that. You can just lay this down and this waterproof side will protect you from getting your butt wet, which really freaking sucks, right? You don't wanna be getting your butt wet. So really cool product right here. It is 16 inches by 20 inches. So that's what you get if you can't get the blow gun. Hopefully you got the blow gun because it's freaking awesome. Tons of fun. <laughs> Like that. The second item in the basic box is Smith's Field Caping Knives. These are really nice right here. So you do get 
technically three knives in the basic box. There's three of them in here, so they're technically disposable. However, you can replace the blades on these. Bear with me, I'm getting there. One, a two, three. All right, so here is your Smith's field caping knife or skinning knife, kind of a surgical steel, surgical quality blade on it right here. That is replaceable. You can take these off. However, you do have three of them in the pack right here. A really great knife for skinning out deer, small game especially, and things such as that. There you go, Daniel. There's your such as that for this video. It's always nice to have a blade around, keep one in your vehicle, keep one in your hunting pack, and keep one in like a, a kit that you may have for, for dressing game and stuff like that. That way you've You've got three options no matter when you need them. So very cool knife right there from Smith's. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys real quick. One reason why this video is late, I know some of you guys are like, man, where's the video at? Where's the video? I've been trying to kill a deer so that I can show some of these products being used and I haven't been successful. <laughs> the weather's really sucked. The deer haven't cooperated. It just, just hasn't worked out. I kept pushing it along, pushing it along. Maybe, maybe I'll get one tomorrow. Maybe, and it just hasn't happened. When it does happen, which hopefully it will sometime this week or next week before Thanksgiving. I'll shoot some video using these products to kind of show you how I use them and how good they work. So forgive me for the late video, but that's why the video's late. I've been trying to do some killing and just killing ain't been happening. I've just been sitting on a dry mate trying to keep my butt dry. Pretty much it. Next up is Dakota line, Dakota, Dakota line snares. We've got three of them in here. So if you can't kill it with your blow gun or with your rifle or your bow or whatever it is that you're hunting with, maybe you can catch it. Maybe I need to try to catch a deer. Catching deers. You can catch a deer. You catch any deer today? Really cool snare right here. Works very well and it's rather large. I mean you can you can catch up, you know, you, you can catch a coyote, foxes, coyotes, you know, medium sized game with these, as well as small game. They're very, very nice. They have a uh, very unique clasp here that, that locks down very well to keep your game where it is until you get out there to get it and take it home with you. Got it on here somewhere. And they're 84 inches, 332nd cable. Can snare up to the size of coyote. Be sure to read the back where I, you know, I wrote up a bunch of stuff that I can't remember. Very, very nice quality snares right here. You should, should last you a lifetime. So next up in the basic box is the ultimate guide to home butchering. So what are you gonna do with it when you get it home, right? You, you, gotta, you gotta know how to clean it, how to you know get it prepared and all that good stuff, right? So this is a really cool book. This book covers stuff that you get out, you know, out in the woods through hunting, you know, such as deer, and, but all the way up to you know, cows, you know, turkeys and chickens, lamb and everything. So pretty much, any kind of meat, four-legged or two-legged animal, if you kill a bird or whatever, is in here on how to properly process that animal. So it talks about tools and supplies, food safety, poultry, hog butchering, beef, and other meats, venison, and other wild game. Tons of really good information in here with illustrations, the whole nine yards on how to properly process your animal. You can't eat the antlers, y'all. There's a few things I've been doing wrong over the years. This book has showed me the light. Yeehaw. So now it's time for the advanced box. The first item in the advanced box, there's two items, and both of these are items that I've used for several years. Outstanding items. First one is the Outdoor Edge Zip Pro. It's a folder. I've been using not this exact knife, but this blade design since 07. My dad gave me an Outdoor Edge knife that has this blade on it. It's a, it's a fixed blade. Um, instead of a folder, that's, that's the difference. Um, but it's the same blade design and I love it. This is the best blade design I have ever used for opening up large games such as deer for like get, getting the guts out and stuff like that. So very revolutionary design. What it does is, is uh, you can use another knife or you can actually use this blade by pinching the skin and uh, Hopefully I'll have a video showing you guys how to do this since I can't kill a deer. You get this in, it's got a blunt tip right here. It is designed to help keep you from cutting into the gut of the deer because two things are gonna happen. You could spoil your meat 
and your buddy that's there helping you is probably gonna throw up on you because <laughs> it stinks really bad. What this does is, is you get it up under the skin and the belly and you can run this up or down the belly. It cuts from the inside. So it cuts from the inside of the skin which prevents cutting hair, which gets all over your meat, which is a pain in the butt to wash off. And it rides right on the, the um, membrane that's protecting the gut area. It'll ride right across that, cutting the hair or the skin from the inside without cutting the hair. And it just does an excellent job. It literally is like a zipper. You just open them, opens them right up perfectly and you don't get hair all over everywhere. everywhere really really good knife design highly recommend it and i'm sure you're going to enjoy it when you get a chance to use it for its intended purpose but also it's a great knife by its blade design for cutting webbing cutting seat belts things such as that so keep this in your vehicle as a seat belt cutter for those purposes like a rescue knife you get up under a pair of blue jeans if you need to somebody needs their legs their blue jean legs cut open you can use this it'll cut up and it won't cut them while you're cutting their blue jeans off or what have you. So very, very cool knife from Outdoor Edge. I dig it. It's my favorite gutting knife right there. The second item in the advanced box is also a product that I've used for several years. I want to say six years I've used this product. Um, I met the owner and the guy that makes these, he makes these by hand, okay? This product right here has been a lifesaver for me. It's called the Silent Retriever. Many of us deer hunters, we hunt, we hunt from elevated positions. So we're up in a tree stand, and a lot of times when you're up in a tree stand, you drop stuff. And for years, I've had like a piece of paracord with a treble hook on it or something like that to try to, you know, if I drop something to try to get it. And it worked okay some of the time, a lot of the time it didn't. This guy made this retriever right here that <laughs> works outstanding. So I've dropped many things. I've dropped my hats, I've dropped earplugs, a jacket, releases, binoculars, a call, like a grunt call and things like that. Constantly dropping stuff out of the tree stand. To get it, you gotta stop what you're doing, you gotta climb down your tree stand, you're getting more scent out into the you know, ground level of the woods, you're making noise, you're ruining your hunt because you dropped something. Well, this little rascal right here, the silent retriever, works outstanding. So take you some paracord, tie you some paracord on this, keep it with you at all times when you're hunting from elevated position. If you drop something, you can lower this down and 9.9 .9 times out of 10, if you get it to land or sit on top of whatever it is you're trying to pick up, it's gonna pick it up and you're gonna be able to retrieve it back up to where you're at and you never had to get down from your stand. So for instance, this hat, you just drop this thing down, it picks it up. You're not like with a treble hook, you're not trying to hook it. You just, you just want it to, you just want it to get it. I mean, I, I even dropped it down where it wasn't on the mesh and it picked up the hat. Outstanding product. Just, <laughs> I love it. I never go in the woods without it now. A trick, and I'll let you know, because some people are like, well, what if I drop, you know, a, a dough bleak can, there's this round plastic object, there's nothing fabric or anything like that for it to grab to. A trick is, is if you take um, like the felt side of... Uh, Less than a minute now. Tool time for 200. Velcro. Glue that onto your round objects like a, like a bleak can. And as long as this touches where that Velcro is, it's going to pick it up. Very cool product right here from my good buddy down in the Gulf States, the Silent Retriever. So now it's time for the Pro Box. Also, the Pro Box has two items in it this month, and this is also, the first item is also an item that I've used for several years. A Little bit different design now, they've, they've upgraded it, but uh, really, really cool kit right here. Also from Outdoor Edge, it is the Wild Pack. A complete butchering kit right here for you. So, Really, really cool kit right here from Outdoor Edge. Open her up, show you what's inside. Fighter jets are out today, up in the clouds. So this is the Wild Pack. How about that? So a really cool kit right here. You've got a sharpener, 
You've got three knives right here. I'll go over here individually in a second. You got a bone and a blade right here, and you got a rib spreader, and you got some gloves right here. So first I'll start with the rib spreader here. Here's your rib spreader. So what's really good about this is, is um, when, you're, when you're cleaning a deer specifically and you're trying to get into the tenderloin area that's in the, I guess, the interior side of the backbone of, of a deer, um, or when you're just trying to clean out you know, all the connective tissues and everything. Sometimes you gotta, I've done it before out in the field, is, is put a stick in there to help hold the rib cage open so I can gain access, or somebody's gotta stand there with you and, and hold it open. But with this, you can literally put this in to the rib cage area, press it in, and it'll spread the ribs out for you so that you can gain access um, to what you're getting to a lot easier. So this is a great tool that's in the kit here the rib spreader. Here you've got your bone saw. If you're needing to, you know, cut the rib cage off or you're trying to separate, you know, the hind quarters, if you don't know how to get into the ball joint and break that loose, um, cutting off at the uh, tarsal glands of the legs. If you got you a buck and you want to cut the skull cap off, you can do that with this. And they've got really nice, very grippy, high visibility orange handles right here. Feel really good in the hand. Here we've got a sharpener, it's a carbide sharpener that you can hold in your hand. There's your sharpener there. Also has a nice grip here. I like to take these knives or these uh, sharpeners and set them down on the table like this and hold them and, and, and run my knife through them this way. But you can also run through a blade this way if you want to. Keep your knives sharp. You'll be surprised at while cleaning a deer specifically how it dulls your blades down, especially with all the sinew and all the other stuff that can get get on your edge. This one here is called ooh, called the Wild Bone. This is a uh, seven. Is it six? It is a five inch. It's a five inch bone boning or, or fillet knife. And as you can kind of see, I don't know how well you can see here on the. This is what's different from the from the kit I have. They kind of changed the grips on here. There's actually like an elk antler in the uh, the handle there to kind of help with with grit so you got this five inch wild bone knife you got this one here the wild cape this is a three and three quarter inch i believe yep three and three quarter inch caping knife correction this is a two and a half inch caping knife told you wrong this is three and three quarter inches this is your gut skinner um, if you don't have this beauty right here you can use this hook here for skinning um, or opening up the, uh, the skin there so that you can gain access. But this is your gut hook and your skinner knife. We'll call it the wild skin. And then of course, you got your gloves right here that I was talking about earlier. Just a really cool kit that's compact. You can keep it in your vehicle you know, when, you, when you go hunting and stuff like that. Or even put it in a backpack if you're going like really deep and you're gonna have to quarter out an animal or if you're gonna definitely gut it out to help you um, drag it out if you got a long ways to go. This will fit inside of a backpack, a hunting backpack. So you can have basically this whole kit with you. I love this kit right here. Used it, use it every year. And now I got a new one. The second item in the Pro Box is the Michael Hawk Arrowhead set with carrying case. This is a really cool little kit right here. So in this kit here, we've got five arrowheads. They all fit in this little kit right here. So I'll take them out so we can get a better shot of them. You know, if you're into going out and, and making a primitive bow, you know, make some arrows and then put these heads in, or if you just want to make a spear or you can use this for like uh, frog gigging, it's a really cool thing and a project to get out and kind of hone a new skill of being able to, you know, make kind of a primitive weapon to take game with. So we've got a Clovis, a medieval, a Kirk, a Sahara and a frog gig. And then it has an illustration kind of here on this card that comes with it, of how you can tie this down, you know, to a, to a stick. Good to go hunting. <laughs> so now it's time for the Pro Plus. A Pro Plus knife this month is really cool and the name's kind of fitting too. <laughs> Buck and Bear Knives is the uh, manufacturer this month. And this is the Survival Piranha knife right here. Check that out. Really cool knife right here. First off, what you see is you see this Kydex sheath right here is really nice. It has the, uh, the belt clip on the back. 
You can reverse this to either side uh, for left hand or right hand carry. Eight and a half inches overall. Uh, the blade is just over three and a half inches. It's got a really nice swooping belly right here. Great for skinning and things like that. Very thick knife. Look how thick that is. Um, very hefty knife. G10 scales that are very grippy. It's grippy. I like grippy. And it's very interesting how it's got this hook right here in the uh, bottom of the handle. So if your hand's covered in blood or sinew or you're wet or, or anything like that, you really have a good grip on this knife. It's not gonna slip out through your hands. We've got D2 steel here, like a stone wash, black wash finish on this one. I believe there's different colors and different variations going out. So yours may be visually different than this one, but uh, they all are D2 steel with G10 scales. Very sharp knife, really, really nice knife to have in a hunting situation or any situation for that matter that you need a really good knife, a fixed blade knife at that. That is this month's Pro Plus from Buck and Bear Knives, the Survival Piranha. How cool is that? It's freaking sweet. I just need to kill a deer so I can use it. Freaking deer's been kicking my butt this year, man. Golly mighty. It's gonna happen. Stay tuned. So that's Mission 45 of Battle Box, folks. Hunting 2.0. Awesome box this month. Plenty of blades and very, very useful items that I have used for many years myself, especially this Zip Pro. Hands down, best blade design there is for opening up large game. The silent retriever saved my butt numerous times from dropping stuff out of my tree stand. Do it all the time. The wild pack right here, can't say enough about that. Awesome, awesome kit. The buck and bear knife is freaking sweet. When you get it in your hand, you just, you feel like you got a really nice quality knife right there. And I just can't say enough about it. I'm ready to go get out in the woods and try to kill me another deer because I'm, I'm empty handed right now. When I do, I want to shoot a video using these products, showing, showing you how I use them and how well they work. All right, deal. That's why the video was late again, because I've been hunting. Sorry. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to check out BattleBox at BattleBox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com. We got a new gifting option there, so be sure to check that out. You can send a single box as a gift or do a subscription, a six or a 12 month subscription gift to, to a friend or family member for the holidays. Uh, be sure to check out the forum. There's a lot of really cool people there that always like to talk about what's coming up in the next boxes and they do giveaways and they do contests and they're really knowledgeable on survival and the outdoors. So be sure to join us there at the forum. So uh, I'll see you next month with mission 46 in December, Christmas time. Yeehaw. That won't bad. Got low on that one. Oh yeah, more Robin Hood one. More Robin Hood one, man. Ooh, not that one. Ah, that was close. Dang it. Oh, that ain't bad grouping. Ain't bad. Work on it a little bit. Got a couple flyers here. That was a good group right there, man. Look at that group right there. Uh-huh. Precision. Take both of them out together, maybe. Freaking awesome.